Hello all. Yes, it really is me. I did my hair and I look feminine. Um, I'm in my living room today because my computer is about to die. Um, today we're going to be talking about EpiPens. And if you follow me on YouTube because you see me on Tumblr, then you know my EpiPen post because it kind of made, made me semi-famous. But now we're going to do a live action version. Um, here is an EpiPen. It's in a container. This is a real one. Um, you can see through it. This is supposed to be a clear medicine. Everyone on Tumblr was kind of freaking out because I had it laying on a table and behind it was brown. So they thought my medicine was brown, but it's not. It's, it's clear. It's still good. Um, thank you for your concern and thank you for telling me that because that's something good to know also. Um, if your medicine is not clear, it's most likely expired. It might still work, but it's not going to work as well as it needs to. So I'm going to mess around with my trainer pen. If you get an EpiPen, you most likely will get a trainer pen too to show you how to use it. And this is what I used in my Tumblr post. First, we're going to talk about when to use them. Um, your doctor prescribes these. They're very expensive, so don't play with them. Um, I'm actually going to talk about why I have them. I've never had anaphylactic shock where um, you go into shock because of an allergy. But recently, which is very important, you should know, it is possible for you to get an, uh, an allergy as an adult that you didn't have as a child. When I was a child, I could eat anything. And now I'm allergic to many things I used to be able to eat. I cannot eat apples anymore. I cannot eat um, anything soy, um, like soy milk. That's my worst allergy is soy milk. Um, I've gotten extremely allergic to strawberries recently. Like literally one week I could eat strawberries. The next week my throat was tightening. It's very, very serious. And with severe allergies, um, as soon as the third reaction to it, you can die. So be very, very careful. If you feel any of these symptoms, these are the symptoms for anaphylactic shock, but they're also the symptom of just having an allergy, a food allergy most likely. So let me just go through these. I'll put the link below to the site that I got these, but these are very good to know for you, uh, for your child, for your spouse, for anyone, or even for a stranger, you might overhear their conversation or you might physically see this as they're trying to pull out their EpiPen, just any of these. Um, you might have skin reactions like hives, flushed skin, which so you go very pale, um, or sorry, you go very red or you go very pale. Suddenly feeling too warm, uh, a lump in your throat or difficulty swallowing, that's what I have. I feel like there's something stuck in my throat right about here. And I keep swallowing and swallowing and every time it's very painful and it feels like I literally just have like a ball of shattered glass in there. It's very, very painful. I also get, um, it's down here later, abdominal pain. You'll probably feel it maybe about here. Weak and rapid pulse, runny nose or sneezing. I always have a runny nose, so that doesn't help me. Uh, swollen tongue or lips. Also, I get pins and needles in my my gums and my lips and my tongue and that might be the feeling of them swelling but it hurts okay like it literally feels like you're letting the most strongly bubbled soda just sit in your mouth and it just gets worse and worse and that's literally I can eat a, a piece of an apple this big I'll have that for three hours it gets very very bad wheezing or difficulty breathing that is a very classic telltale sign that someone might need an EpiPen. they'll be very obvious about it they'll be trying to cough they might be like this they it might at first seem like they're choking but um obviously if they have a severe allergy like peanuts or like i have they'll carry around an EpiPen. So if they feel that they're about to start suffocating, they will pull out their EpiPen. Or if not, and they do 
in the worst circumstances collapse, just call 911 and say, I believe that they're going through anaphylactic shock or they ate something that is not well with them. Just This one says just a general sense that something's wrong with your body. You will feel it. You will be like something just isn't right. And tingling of hands, feet, mouth, or scalp. I actually have an extremely bad pollen allergy too. It's related to my um, my food allergy and literally usually my scalp but also more I will get like a burning itch all over my face and upper chest and stuff because I am so severely allergic to pollen. So I can definitely see that for a food allergy as well. Now um, now that you know the symptoms, which I did leave out of my first post, and someone commented and put those in there, so I felt like I was going to put them in this video. Now we're going to talk about the actual EpiPen. The pen itself has instructions on it. Yes, has instructions on it. And if they happen to have the package with them, they have instructions on it too. And more instructions on the inside. Um... I watched a house episode once where a boy's girlfriend started to go into anaphylactic shock and she handed him the EpiPen because she was freaking out so much she could not breathe and she was shaking and hyperventilate and trying to hyperventilate and all he did was just look at it and like I don't know how to use this. So learning before the circumstance is very helpful and it is so hard to read when you're panicked. That's why it's very, very easy. You see the instructions and it's, it's very easy, but in a panic situation, it's going to be hard. So this is a trainer pen. It has no needle in it, but I'm guessing the dynamics are exactly the same. I've never had to use an EpiPen, thank God. Um, my allergies aren't that severe, but my doctor just wanted to make sure that this is okay. So you're going to take out this blue cap. Here, I'll, I'll show you on this one too. Hopefully, if, the, if they do come in this tube, just pull off this top. You know, it's almost like a Pez. They both have them, and they both have this orange tip. You're going to pull out this blue thing. It won't work with this blue. This is the trainer. It won't work without the blue thing in it. It is a lock. It'll come out. If you take it out by mistake, it just back in as long as you don't hit the needle it's fine okay now the needle will be in here do not put your hand anywhere near the orange the needle is inside but I have heard that even if you brush across it you can get pricked and one drop of this inside you when you are not going through anaphylactic shock will kill you it is pure adrenaline epinephrine but it will kill you. You will have to call an ambulance immediately and say what you did because your heart will explode. So you'll take that off. Keep your hand away from it. Do not put your thumb over the back of this because there are stories of the needle shooting backwards into people's thumbs. So keep your hand firmly around it. Now I'm going to stand up to show you. This is my famous aerial tattoo that people love so much. You're going to hold it, show anywhere on the side of their thigh, slam, and hold. You're going to hold for, this says three seconds, but a lot of people are telling me ten seconds. So the longer you hold, the better. There's no way for them to overdose on it. Everything is a perfect amount. If you hold it for three seconds or less, they won't get the full dose. These only work for a half an hour. So you, they have to get the full dose in order for an ambulance to get there in time. Now, the biggest question I've been getting is, will these go through jeans and leather? Yes, they will go through any normal type of clothing. They will not go through the seams of the jeans. It is too thick, the needle is too thin, and not long enough. They will not go through or just make sure you're not hitting the cell phone in their pockets, okay? You're not hitting their keys. 
make sure you have a flat surface to hit. Don't hit on the top of their thigh because you will hit their thigh bone. This has to go into muscle or fat. Now, if this is a very rare circumstance, if their thigh does not seem thick enough, maybe they're an elderly person, shoot it in their butt. Their butt will be thick enough for them to get the dose. It needs to go in a muscle or fat. A million people have been saying this. It's blue to the sky, orange to the thigh. So, just to recap, take this off, wrap around, not like this, like this. Keep your fingers, keep anything away from this except for the person's thigh. Slam relatively hard, you're gonna be anxious, so you're gonna slam hard enough. Don't, don't all-star this thing as hard as you can. Just a decent amount, you'll feel it click. Once it clicks, hold for about 10 seconds. Count it out loud. You will be panicking, most likely. If you're a normal human being, you will be panicking. So count out. One, two, three, etc. One thing a lot of people have been telling me, <laughs> this is silly, and it's probably just an American thing, but listen, if the person is unable to give this to them themselves, which is the whole reason for you to help, if they can do it themselves, do not interfere. You're probably just going to get in their way. But this is if they are struggling to even hold it. This is if they're unconscious, maybe. You will pretend this is their hand. You'll put it in their hand, wrap around like this, and then go down. This is a very American loophole. So you didn't administer it. You helped them administer it. And it's to help... Um, stave off a lawsuit in case something went wrong. You'll say, I did not give them the shot. I helped them give them the shot. And it will help you in the Good Samaritan laws and stuff. Now, you have to call 911 immediately. If, you, if there's someone else with you, call them before you even give the shot. Just say, call 911. I'll help them. This only works for half an hour. If you're in the middle of nowhere or in the middle of rush hour in the busiest city in the world, it might take longer than a half an hour. These things, they come in twos. They might have two of them with them. And I've also heard of an epi system having two needles, which either has an extra for going over a half an hour, or sometimes it's a two needle system, so they have to hit you twice. It'll say, on the needle what to do. What you need to do if you are panicking is take a deep breath and read the instructions. They have they have the few seconds for you to read the instructions correctly. Okay, so just calm down, read it, and help out. So I want you guys to learn. I want you guys to be safe. Do not play with this. Do not play with this. This is a real one. This is not a toy. If you play with this, you're not only wasting a lot of money on the actual mechanism, but if you get stuck and you get this in your blood when you don't need it, you'll waste thousands going to the hospital because you were stupid and you got this in your system when you didn't need it. So, and this is not a preventative measure. You do not stick this with yourself and then eat what you want. No, this is life and death. This is only if you accidentally eat something you should not have or got stung by a bee or something like that. This is not, I've heard the story of, oh, this little boy in my school wanted to know what peanut butter tasted like, so he ate peanut butter and stuck himself. He will die, okay? You do not mess around with this. I am very, very serious about this because people will die trying to have fun. That's not okay. So, as I said, just be safe, learn, spread this around if you think it's important. Bye.